Hey everybody, it's Mio. It's um, Monday, January 23rd, 2023. I've been in the hospital, I don't know how long, for how many days at this point, but uh, months now, a couple of months. And one of the big reasons why I've been in the hospital is because they're able to manage my nausea and vomiting uh, while receiving treatment at the same time. But today um, I received some challenging news that um, they don't believe that, um, that that treatment that I've been getting while I was in the hospital has been working or is working as well as it can be or should be. And so I have two options um, that are left. One is to um, go back to uh, an older treatment, Full Fox, that we're a little bit inconclusive about in terms of whether it works or not. And the other is the no, no treatment option. And that was a bit of a surprise to hear that um, those are the two options that are being um, recommended to me at this point. And um, some tough prognosis news along with that, which is that um, I guess people um, who are at my point in the disease progression is that people talk about uh, weeks and months um, or weeks and up to three months or so when we're talking about prognosis. So it's a, it's a pretty challenging thing to hear and I wasn't expecting that news and I didn't hear it from the main oncologist, which is a conversation I definitely want to make sure to have with my main oncologist to make sure that I understand everything as well as um, possible. But um, that's what's happening. As you can see um, with the last treatment, I lost my hair um, and I decided to shave it all off and I don't think it actually looks too bad. And I've also, um, dropped a bunch of weight so you can see I think some of that in my in my neck here and so forth but um, I'm now super motivated to go home because the only reason why I've been, been in the hospital is to receive treatment and um, the last four days or so I've been getting nutrition excuse me via IV um, and whatever it's doing it's made me feel a lot better than I have in a very long time. And so um, I'm very eager and motivated to get home now because um, if I only have a few weeks to a, to a couple months or three months left, then I would rather be anywhere but in the hospital for that. Um, if I have to be in hospice and so forth to get taken care of, that's another story. But um, for the time being, I want to make sure that um, I'm in the house, I'm, I'm at home, and um, being able to spend quality time as much as possible, rather than sitting in a hospital, waiting to see what the next person is going to be that's going to pop in through the door and have something to say. So um, I've let the people here know, and they know that I want to get home. So we're hoping for Wednesday as the target gate to get to date to get home and that's what's going on for the time being i don't want to keep uh going and um and talking too much about um anything else i really don't know i have too much information on but like i mentioned um some unexpected news for today um anyhow i hope you're taking good care chef's kiss to you love and care and I'll talk to you again real soon. Bye.